All right, we're starting right from our browser, and we're using IE10, and I already have this bookmarked. We're gonna to go to our operations team site, and it starts, of course, we have to sign in. We have to give it our credentials. And I'm doing this because I want you to see the very first time that you go to a site, it may take a little time for it to, you saw the little working on it and the little spinning dots there. It may take a little time for it to go ahead and uh, sign in and make that connection and render the site for us for the first time. So here we are. Here is our Global Mantics Operations Team site, right out of the box. Nothing has been added. I haven't done anything on this site. It's all here. It's all fresh, brand new. And this is what it's going to look like by default. Now we're going to start, first of all, with these things. <laughs> these are the different features that we can go ahead and use on our team site. These are the things that come by default. And they're basically apps. This is how we refer to these things now. You're using an app to create or access these different features of our SharePoint site. For example, the one that my pointer is on right now is to go ahead and create a new task list. And then this one here, add lists, libraries, and other apps. Change your style. Brand your site by adding a logo and a description. And sharing your site. Going ahead and connecting other people to your site. And these are just shortcuts to other places, quite honestly. And you'll see here this option to remove this. It'll take these tiles off of here for you so that you have a much cleaner look to your site. And notice when we do that, we get this message that says the getting started tasks are available from the settings menu at any time. And we'll go ahead and we'll look at that in just a minute. But now, once we've gotten those apps out of the way, this is what our site looks like. And I know it's pretty stark. It's pretty bland. There's nothing here. But it's because we haven't done anything. And over time, of course, our SharePoint sites grow and become more organic. And there's going to be more and more things, more information added to this page and it all depends on what you want what kind of features you want to add to your site and you can even have branding you can change the theme on your own out of the box there's several themes and I'll show you those in just a few minutes or if you have a developer a designer they can come and customize and brand your entire site your look and feel and everything and I I see some really amazing things done with SharePoint so it's up to you and your requirements. All right, let's start over here on the left. This is our quick launch, and you see we have three links right now. Home, which is where we are. Documents, which is going to take us over here, actually, to the Documents Library. Now, this library, this document library, is already here. It's part of the team site. It is probably the most popular SharePoint feature, and it's just a document library. And we saw a little bit of this when we were working with our email. But this allows us to go ahead and add documents, have a place, a shared space for all of our documents for, in this case, our operations team. Site contents, if I click there, this is going to go ahead and take me to all of the features of our team site that have been added. Now, in this case, these are the things that are here by default. And you can see our document library. We have a micro feed, which let me go ahead and click on that. That's a My Site Microfeed Persistent Storage List. And we'll deal more with this when we talk about My Sites. Site pages, and there are only two, but you can go ahead and access the settings for each individual page. And you can even remove this library from your site. I want you to notice the icons because these are significant. These are all libraries it's this little folder it's just libraries with different properties making it a specific type of library this was our document library but now this one over here is a library of form templates and there aren't any there but if you created templates for forms that's where you'd want to put them site assets library and a style library and the style library already has some things in it And they're just informational videos. 
I can use my back button on my browser to go ahead and get back to where we were. Now down here at the bottom, it allows me to create a new subsite. And we talked about subsites way back, uh, oh gosh, I think that was in lesson four or five. But if you have the ability, the permission to go ahead and add a subsite, you can do it right here at the same time you would add lists, libraries, and other exciting things. Now, like I said, these are the libraries and lists that are already part of our site. But if there's one in here that you don't see that you want, there's something that you need that isn't already here, you go to this link, add an app, and it'll bring you to this page. And actually, there are more. There's two pages worth of apps. That'll give you many, many more out-of-the-box options of apps that you can go ahead and add to your SharePoint site. And you'll see some of these we already have. Document library, form library, but there's also contacts, calendars, picture libraries, wiki page libraries, a page for links, announcements, discussion boards, issue tracking, surveys, etc. And these apps will be added to your site simply by selecting them. And you'll notice up here at the top, Noteworthy, and there are three, Document Library, Custom List, and Tasks. And this is what I told you a few minutes ago. These are the three most popular. They're probably the most common, the most used apps for your SharePoint. And these are the three we're going to work with today. But let's go ahead and let's get back and this up here, this is a link also back to our home page. Now up here at the top, you'll see we have a page tab. And when I click that, it just gives me the ribbon and allows me to go ahead and do things to this particular page. You can edit the page. You can check it out, which is a way of keeping other people from being able to edit this page. You can go ahead and email a link to this page. You can set up alerts. We already saw how to do that. You can make a particular page the home page for your site. And we've already seen the library settings when we were setting up our email. This is going to let us get to this page for a particular library or list. So lots of really neat features. Very easy to use, and very easy to access. Now also from this ribbon, let's go ahead here, we have the ability, if we click on Edit, to open up this page and edit it. We have the ability, yes, to go ahead and edit text and layout. You see a lot of tools in here that you probably recognize from Microsoft Word. But we also have the ability here on the Insert tab to add things like pictures, audio, and video tables. But the really cool part is the Add App Parts. This is where I could go ahead and add Things like a document library, a form library, micro feed, all kinds of things, extra pages to the different sections of this individual page. We need to save it, even though we made no changes, so that we can go ahead and close it back up. 